Launching Writing Third Grade English Language Arts Unit. And it is a three week unit. Common Core standards are that students are going to organize appropriate to task and purpose of their writing. They're going to plan, revise, and edit. They're going to produce simple compound and complex sentences. They are going to use conventional spelling for high frequency and other studied words. They are going to use spelling patterns and generalizations. And lastly, they're going to choose words and phrases for effect. So linked directly to the standards are going to be the learning outcomes, which they will demonstrate in a writing project at the end of the unit. In their writing, I will be looking for things such as precise verbs, varied sentences, craft strategies, and those are simple noun and verb, adjective noun and verb, noun verb and position word, and um, sentences that start with an ing verb and tell what happened. Students will learn to incorporate sound words for more descriptive writing, such as booming drums or blaring trumpets. And lastly, how to incorporate color. Maybe the lion's mane was honey brown, or the girl painted her fingernails fire engine red. So our technology standards tie in perfectly with this lesson. Um, students are going to do creativity and innovation, and they're going to show that in their final project. And throughout this project, there's also a lot of communication and collaboration um, on the editing. So apps and technology students will be using will be Google Slides. They're going to be using several apps on the iPad Pro. They will also utilize their Chromebook. One of the apps specifically will be the Sketch app on the iPad Pro. Myon is where they can read their textbooks. Students are going to have a writing journal throughout this and they're actually going to keep it um, in a blog form on Blogger. Google Docs will be where they do all their main writing. Um, that way they can share it with a peer for revision and editing. Kahoot is a fun way to review subjects that I taught the students during that lesson. For organizing their thoughts, they're going to be doing a lot of mind mapping using MindMeister. And lastly, abcia.com for word clouds a heart map word cloud which they will keep in their idea bank in their blog um, and what these are it's going to be important things that students um, remember or memories they cherish and this helps students to zoom in on their specific writing topic um, when learning about how to incorporate colors into writing they're going to do a mind map of colors so for example the color blue can be associated with the sky to address the individual MIs they can choose their final project so the audio recording is for verbal and interpersonal digital storytelling is perfect for visual logical and naturalistic multiple intelligences and lastly, an audio plus a skit, they could do it live or recorded, is for musical, kinesthetic, and interpersonal. Students will be graded on their use of precise verbs, varied sentences, sound words, and color words. So I will just be grading their content, um, not specifically the way in which they choose to present their writing. So what I've learned during this course is that Technology, including assistive technology, um, progresses as we see here, a rock to a cell phone. Um, definitely how important multiple intelligences are and how it is very important to include them in our lesson planning. Um, I really discovered how so many apps and technology can relate to specific multiple intelligences and I'm really grateful for learning all of that. I liked this word cloud because it also shows that um, technology also helps all students, uh, English language learners um, and teachers and aids in student learning. And then um, this quote, this book is defective, I tap the page and nothing happens. Um, I think it's important to create a balance in our classroom for students, but also be aware um, they learn different and they learn through using technology. So in five years, I hope to be a role model at my school. Um, so when technology integration is at its best, a child or teacher doesn't stop to think that he or she is using a tech tool. It is second nature. Um, also, 
if a child can't learn the way that we teach, maybe we should teach the way they learn. And I think that's important not only for incorporating technology, but also incorporating um, the different learning styles for the multiple intelligences. And lastly, another pretty word cloud um, for my development. I see words like Twitter, EdChat, educational, participant. I really want to stay engaged um, and connected to my personal learning network, specifically through Twitter. And that is all. Thank you so much, Dr. Cordiff and class for an amazing nine weeks.